it's a pretty bug. It's had this bright, nice emerald green color. We had a good conversation tonight with residents about emerald ash borer. We know it's here in the city. It's only been identified in one tree so far. It's a devastating insect that's going to kill millions of ash trees in Minnesota. So this is going to be a key winter for us to start looking for it. But it is quite small, which is the, one of the biggest challenges. Well, it's about half the diameter of a penny. It's so small that when you look into the crown of the tree, you're likely not to see it. Most of the damage has been done to the tree by the time you even see an insect like this. We're coming into the winter season, and the, one of the main things we want to look for is blonde which is paling of some of the upper branches. And that's caused by woodpeckers um, going after those, those larvae underneath the bark. About eight years ago, the city did a tree inventory and we just inventoried boulevard trees and trees in manicured areas of our parks. And we had around 9,000 trees or so that were included in the inventory. Of those, 2,037 were ash trees. So those are the ones we're concerned about tonight and that we were talking about. Here's those galleries underneath the bark. As that larvae eats more material, it gets wider and wider. If you have a tree, for example, that's maybe five or six inches in diameter, that's considered a small tree. And perhaps looking at a replacement would be something to consider. Without any type of insecticide options, the trees will be attacked, unfortunately, and die. The challenge is that once the trees are attacked and they become very, very brittle, but having less than 30% dieback is the key to say this tree is worth saving. So catching it early and making decisions of when you would want to remove that tree is, is important. If you have a tree you suspect has emerald ash borers, you can always call the city and we're first, we're going to start by quizzing you. We're going to ask you what, what symptoms you've noticed. The city hopes to actually begin removals this, this December and into January. We'll see how it goes with our, with our crews and the snow plowing. The key time to remove ash trees is September through April. And that's what would they call the non-flight season. That's where those, the beetles are not flying about and active. And so that will keep things more contained instead of transporting wood and having things move during that time.